Maurizio, horrible day for you. How do you explain what's happened to your team? Oh, at the moment, I am not able to explain because uh, during the week, my, my feeling was uh, really very good uh, during the training. So uh, at the moment, uh, I don't know, maybe the, the, the goal, uh, we consider the goal after uh, uh, three minutes uh, and against uh, these opponents, uh, then uh, it was uh, really very difficult to play. And it uh, was uh, really very difficult no, not to give, uh, to, go, to give them uh, spaces. And so we, we were in trouble. But uh, I am not able at the moment to, to understand it because, uh, as I said before, uh, during the week, my feeling was uh, really very good. Yeah, I understand what you say. Difficult time for you to go into it. But do you think individual errors were the things that cost you or was the approach on reflection wrong? I think that... Uh, we made a lot of mistakes uh, with uh, against uh, the wrong opponents. Today they they played uh, really fantastic football, and uh, we 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 made uh, a lot of mistakes. Are you able to tell us what the plan was today, and whether you changed anything at all because it was Man City, or did you just say right, this is how we play, we keep doing it? No, we we wanted to. To press them uh, at the beginning of the action, but uh, then uh, the, the, the plan uh, was completely another because uh, we considered the goal after two minutes, and so uh, it was really very difficult. At the moment, the way you want your players to play, the way you want them to press, are they able to do it as you want them to do it? No, no, not always. Uh, I think that today a big uh, difference uh, be, between uh, the two teams was uh, the intensity of pressing. Uh, they pressed uh, really, really very, very well with a very high intensity, and uh, we were not able to do it. After Arsenal and Bournemouth, you talked about mentality, motivation. Did you see that as a problem today? I don't think the motivation, uh, as I said before, uh, my feeling was uh, really very good during, during the week, uh, was uh, really very good yesterday, was uh, really very good uh, during the warm-up. Uh, I think that uh, we were not able to react, to react in the, in the right way. Uh, we had only to stay in the match, uh, it can happen, and so I think that uh, we were not able to stay in the match. And why do you think it keeps happening to you away from home? This is Arsenal, Bournemouth, and now this all in a row. I think that at the moment uh, we have a, uh, we have a big problem uh, away. Uh, What's causing that? Do you think? I don't know. I don't know because uh, at the beginning of the season uh, we played uh, better away than uh, at home. And now in the last in the last month uh, everything uh, has uh, changed uh, so we need uh, we need to understand uh, it's not uh, it's not easy uh, but we need to understand of course because uh, we we have to play in every situation uh, after a positive situation after a negative situation uh, we need uh, to to play to stay into the match this is Chelsea's worst ever Premier League defeat on the back of Arsenal, on the back of Bournemouth. Do you worry that a result like that at a club like Chelsea will bring pressure and scrutiny on your position? I think uh, that uh, is right. I am in charge of, uh, of the team, uh, so it's right. So what happens next? you have discussions about your future? I don't know, not at, uh, not at the moment, but uh, I think that uh, will happen because uh, I think that it's normal. It's uh, something uh, that uh, we need to do, we have to do. So I'd, I just need to clarify this. You think in the next week you'll be sitting down with the people who run Chelsea to discuss if you're still with the manager? Oh, I don't know. You have to ask to the club. Uh, I have no idea about uh, about uh, this at the moment. Okay. Look, thanks for your time.